Okay, so here is here are our ingredients for spaghetti squash, stuffed spaghetti squash. Um, we've got about a half cup of diced onion and red pepper, a tablespoon of diced parsley. We have one can of diced tomato. It's about two, three, two to three ounces of uh, shredded mozzarella. Um, one package of natural crumbled feta, that's four ounces. We're going to use about three quarters of this turkey sausage, but I'm going to brown all of it and just set some aside. Um, oregano, salt, pepper, and garlic. So we have over here in a large skillet, two tablespoons of olive oil heating up, and in the oven, whoo, it's steamy, is our spaghetti squash. Okay, so we've added the onion and red pepper to the oil. We're going to saute that until the onion is translucent. And then we will add the ground meat. Okay, we've added our ground meat, which we used um, ground turkey sausage. Well, turkey sausage, I guess. And we're going to saute that until it is brown. Okay, here's our done, it's baked um, spaghetti squash. And we will just see it just pulls apart like this into spaghetti like strands. So we're going to. Um, get all of this out and keep the shell for um, when we bake it. So this has been cooking for a few minutes, so we're going to add the tomato mixture. And the oregano. And we're just going to cook this for a bit longer. Okay, so we've added um, the spaghetti squash, the salt, the pepper, and as you can see, the spaghetti squash, it looks, you know, little strands, they look like spaghetti. So basically, um, we cooked ours probably a little too long, it's a little mushy, but it's still going to be really good. So we're going to cook this until all the liquid is gone, and then we're going to scoop this into our... Um, spaghetti squash shells. Okay, so now we've absorbed uh, most of the moisture um, has come out of the steam. Okay, now that mo most of the moisture is out, we're going to go ahead and take it off the um, oven and we're going to scoop it into our squash okay, so shells. We're going to scoop our uh, mixture into our squash shells. Just kind of split it up between the two of them. And then we will put them in the oven um, with a bunch of cheese on top to bake for about 20 more minutes until the cheese is brown and melty and delicious. And then we'll show you the finished product. Okay, so we've got our finished, um, well they're not finished. They're just going in the oven. We've got our mozzarella on top with um, sprinkled feta cheese on top as well. And these are going to bake for about 20 minutes or until all the cheese is melted and golden brown. And let me tell you, it smells really good. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a winner. So this is the finished product at the very end. We are taking it out of the oven, almost ready to serve it. So here is the finished product, just taken out of the oven. Look at that. Yeah, looks pretty darn good. We're going to serve it up and we'll be back with our reaction. Okay, so here we go. This is the finished, served, we aren't very fancy when it comes to plating things. No, no. So here we'll is to the it. first bite. See it's kind of hot, so just pause. I I paused it. Well. Yummy. Really? It's just like it should taste. Do you like the way it tastes? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, here's my first bite of this. Not as big as his bite. Mmm. This is really good. The squash doesn't really have much of a flavor, but 
it gives it the consistency of like a really well done baked noodle. Mm. It's really good. It mm-hmm. doesn't taste. It it tastes really good. Just so like you'd noodles. say it was good. I'd say it was probably it was okay. Okay. No, it's really good, and uh, we're going to be eating this instead of pasta a lot more nowadays because it's forty five calories. <laughs> He's laughing at me. This is why I don't do videos with him. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> delicious.